this uh, sound evening, which, by the way, is a regular event by the association. And more and more of these events are taking place in English language. So thank you for joining me tonight. And um, our topic is, as we mentioned before, self-care with sound using a singing bowl. Um, we will just go through the topics such as what is self-care, what does it mean? And maybe that means something different to different people. Why self-care? And I would like to share some easy and simple practical exercises. And I hope you all have your singing bowl at hand if you have one. And I'd like to close the evening with a guided imagery and sound journey. And for that part, headset or even speakers are recommended. So you will really benefit most of the sounds <clears throat> as well. I would like to um, mention for those who are here on the Zoom call, you have the opportunity to ask questions. You can type them in the chat because you're not able to speak, but um, you can write them in the chat and um, I will have a look in between and check that out. And we can always talk about further questions at the end of the session. Yeah, so um, let me talk briefly about self-care. And I think this is a very, very and super important topic because many of us abandon self-care. And what does actually self-care mean? When you Google it and when you look up, you find various definitions, but they all go more or less into self-care means taking more time for yourself and making sure that you're well. And when we're talking about making sure you're well, it means as well physically and mentally. Mm -hmm. And um, now we hear and, and listen really about the word uh, self-care a lot in various aspects. And actually, why is it so important? Why do we think we have to self-care about ourselves? Self-care, um, is that moment when we bring the focus on our own needs and well-being and as well we protect ourselves against stress and self-exploitation and maybe some of us here on the call have experienced already what it means when you self-exploit yourself i can truly uh, tell a story about that. In 2004, I had a, a very serious breakdown. And since then, my entire life changed because I understood the importance of taking care of myself, so to say, self care. And um, self care can be taken with various measures. Some people use breathing, some people use nature, some people um, spend quality family time, you know, whatever that means to you. Most of the people do not take the time. And at the end of the day, they feel tired. They go stressed to bed. That means in the morning they get up stressed as well. So it's not really beneficial. So when we bring focus on our own needs, this is when we become considerate about ourselves. That's when we start loving ourselves. And this is mm, when we become more and more aware. So aware of what is, and at the end of the day, within ourselves. Mm. And it is literally very important that we give this need some space, some time throughout the day. And I personally believe self-care has priority. Um, life can be very busy. And I know often I hear, oh, I don't have five minutes a day. Come on. Everyone has five minutes a day. And to be honest, when I started self-caring about myself, I took the moment and got up 45 minutes earlier in the morning. So I had more time for myself. And it immensely, hugely changed my life. So everyone makes a choice at the end of the day. Hmm? 
And when we take this time out, we start listening to ourselves. We start listening to our body. We start listening to our mind going deeper to our emotions, to our soul level, instead of literally giving priority constantly to things in the outside. Um, I understand when we have families and children to take care of and we have a job, many of us are very multifunctional, yet this very little moment a day of take the self-care is super, super important. Mm -hmm. So why would we do that? Because if we do not take self-care for ourselves, I believe we will not be happy. Everything is only superficial in the outside because the true happiness comes from within. Mm. And when we do self-care with sound, and I love self-care with sound because it's so easy. There's nothing you have to do. You have a singing bowl and we will do some practices in a moment. Um, and you just use it for a few minutes every day. And it may possibly change your life to the positive because it helps you to achieve and to maintain balance and harmony in your day-to-day -day life. And I'm sure there's some people here on this um, call that um, have experienced that already. Sometimes in my courses, I remind people on the five minutes of sound every day. And some of you might know the study of the uh, couple and professors, doctor and professor, doctor and Dr. Ayala from Munich. They, they made a beautiful study about five minutes of sound and how it actually had a very positive impact on levels of stress on a group of over 500 people as far as I'm concerned. So it can have a fantastic impact positively on achieving, but as well on maintaining balance and harmony in your day-to-day -day life. Um, obviously, it can help to relieve your busy mind, this monkey mind that seems never to stop. And it helps you to bring you into the present moment. And in the present moment, you may discover very often there is nothing. There is this beautiful space that you can fill with whatever you want to fill it. Mm -hmm. So when we use the sound of a singing bowl, it helps to create this peaceful inner state and attitude towards ourselves, but as well towards all that is happening throughout the day and outside. Mm -hmm. So when we use the singing bowl for ourselves in a daily basis, we promote this self-awareness so we understand literally what our needs are. And it brings us flow of life. And I think this is what we all want. We don't want to be stuck somewhere, right? So when we calm our mind, we bring balance, we bring harmony and we bring focus because we can focus on all that we have to do in the day to day, which is very important. Yeah, um, Christina has posted uh, in, in, in a link of an article related to the study that the couple professors Airless have done um, a couple of years ago in related to five minutes of sound. Very worth reading it and it is translated into English for you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and um, so when we use a singing bowl is various aspects that we address. We address the physical because our body consists out of 70-80% of liquid. Many of you know that. And liquid carries vibration because the singing bowl produces sound vibration. So it has an impact on our auditive sense through the sounds it creates and as well through the vibration because it vibrotector touches our physical body, our skin, and depends how and where we use it, we can have some really beautiful results. And then 
when we listen to the sounds, they have an impact on our brain activity. So they can help to connect our both brain hemispheres so we can be more focused, we can be better concentrated. Hmm? We can enter a coherent state, a brain coherent state, which is a state where the brain activity gets more relaxed, similar to the body. When your breathing gets more relaxed, maybe more deep, and you nourish your body on a very different level. So um, there is various aspects to that, but I prefer now to really enter into some practical exercise if that is uh, in agreement with you, so you can experience firsthand. <laughs> um, I imagine those on the call have a singing bowl and have a mallet. And what I would like to use and show you is a universal bowl that is from the Peter Haas um, singing bowl, therapy singing bowl collection. It's a, it's a fantastic bowl because it weighs a kilo, one kilo, and it's very easy to handle. It's not too heavy and it has a perfect size. Um, with a singing bowl, you will need a mallet. We like to use mallets with a stick so we can touch the singing bowl and tap it like this rather than making the singing bowl sing using a mallet rubbing around which is more complicated um, when we tap the bowl it's much more easy because there's nothing else you have to do you just experience and enjoy the sound and vibration mm -hmm. so when we use the singing bowl on our physical body or very close to our physical body it has an impact on our physicality as i mentioned before through the liquid the water that we carry the blood etc and it is carried throughout the entire body this has an effect into relaxing our muscles a lot of people uh, report afterwards oh my shoulders they feel so much better now or my entire back feels better um so you can relax any part of your body just placing the ball on one single part of your body just because the vibration travels throughout your body with the liquid that we carry. Hmm. So I would like to share with you an exercise and I would like all of us to practice it. Use this universal bowl and I have it just because of the camera now I'm holding it high but you do not need to hold it high and it's a, a practice we do I would say, yeah, well, we do it in all of our courses, more or less, when we do the basic sound massage training. So you use the palm of your hand, you place the singing bowl on it, and you strike the bowl from the side. We, You can explore to tap the bowl from the outside. You can explore as well to tap the bowl from the inside. We would normally tap it from the outside. So what I would like you to do now is let's just all together take a little moment and strike the bowl and feel what we experience. So you can choose either hand to start with, but before we tap the bowl, I would like to briefly invite you to look at how do you feel in this very moment? Mm, do you feel rather relaxed or have you just hurried back home to attend this um, online sound event? How do you feel? And I'd like you to use just for yourself a scaling between zero, you're super and completely relaxed, or 10, you're rather really stressed. 
So please, just for yourself, if you like, write it down on a piece of paper. How do you feel in this very present moment? And then let's take a couple of minutes on just tapping this one single bowl on one hand. Yeah. So <clears throat> I might guide you with some words and um, I invite you to place the singing bowl on maybe your left hand or your right hand, whatever feels comfortable to you. And I invite you to relax the palm of your hand so that you can literally feel the sound vibration. And I'm sure you're aware we have in our hands the hand reflects sounds. This means when we treat our hand, we treat our entire body because we address all our organs. And I invite you to observe the flow of the vibration, maybe even the sound of the vibration of your singing bowl. Observe how long it vibrates. Observe how it feels on your hand. And when you feel that the sound vibration fades, just tap it one more time. Observe where you can feel the sound vibration. Does it travel into your body? And observe your breath. If you like, you can close your eyes while the bowl is vibrating. Put full emphasis on the sounding and the sensation it creates in your hand, in your body, and maybe in your mind. every tapping allow the vibration to flow and then allow the singing bowl to finish vibrating just on its own and when you feel it has finished the vibration, just observe. Maybe take it off your hand and observe. How does your hand feel now? Maybe has it become warmer? Maybe a tingling sensation? Maybe colder? And without a lot of interpretation, I invite you to place the same bowl on the palm of the other hand, because we always work both hands, so we stay and become more balanced. This way we connect the body hemispheres left and right. Sometimes it feels a little bit weird to tap with the other hand now, the bowl on the other hand, but just relax into it, rest your hand on a cushion or your armrest of the chair and tap the bowl and observe, observe.
observe the sounding the vibration Observe the impact on your breath. Maybe your breathing rhythm has changed. Maybe it has become a little bit deeper, lighter. Is it easy for you to follow the sound and the vibration? You don't have to do anything, just tap the bowl when you feel like, on the palm of your hand and observe, if you like. Bring the awareness to your hand. Maybe your entire body. Maybe there is even something very significant to you. Yeah. Tap it one more time if you like and allow it to finish vibrating. And when it finishes vibrating, you can place it aside you. And I'd like you to look one more time at how you feel, comparing how did you feel before we started this short exercise? What's your number now? Do you have a change? Did it drop or maybe did it rise? Just be aware of it. Mm -hmm. This exercise we did is a very valuable exercise and you do not need to do it a very long time. You can do it two or three minutes on one hand, two or three minutes on the other hand, and then you have already completed five minutes of sound every day. It is very much recommended this exercise to keep it tracked and I'd like to re recommend here we have a so-called daily sound journal that actually the association has on its website free for download where you can track your progress if you feel you would like to try and use these five minutes of sound over a period of time. Maybe three weeks, maybe two weeks, maybe one week. Maybe you skip one day in between. It is recommended to track how you feel physically, how you feel mentally and how you feel emotionally before and after, because then you can discover what changes are taking place for myself over the period of time and this is like at least for myself and her heard that for many of my course participants as well and other people that once they start using sound regularly they don't want to miss it maybe they don't do it every day then but to start with to get into the rhythm and to allow the body to resonate with it easily, it's really great to do that. And um, Christina has posted the download link for the Daily Sound Diary uh, journal in, um, in the chat as well for those who would like to receive that source. Uh, this is one exercise you can do. Another exercise I would really like 
to recommend you and this is something everyone who has done a, a seminar with Peter has for sure has heard about this exercise is just place the singing bowl in front of you place it on a table place it aside you in your bed just have it close to you and do exactly the same exercise tap the bowl allow it to 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 resonate for a short period of time until you feel the desire to repeat the tapping and track it track it in the same daily sound diary or sound journal uh, as we mentioned before how do i feel before and how do i feel afterwards and um, it might give you a wonderful opportunity to balance out to harmonize to bring a flow of energy to help focus the benefits are i think amazing there is a variety and i think is hardly any limitation to express that mm. you can also connect the sounding with your breath so with every breath um, or when you tap the bowl again you do extra conscious breathing in for example and you visualize if you can visualize that this breath is expanding together with the sound vibration bringing deep relaxation bringing liberation bringing liberation of tension or maybe even pains but as well bringing the focus that's always the important thing is what is it we would like to achieve uh, here I would like to to refer as well to a fantastic book and I'm sure some of you have this book maybe already this is called um, my singing bowl so the singing bowl my practical companion this is a book written by Peter Hess himself and it's a it's a fantastic source of how can I maintain my singing bowls there is several more sound practices in and it will give you many more ideas um, because the singing bowl you can place anywhere on your body you can place it for example on your tummy I like to do that I place the bowl on my solar plexus on my stomach because a lot of us carry a lot of tension in our stomach so we when we experience stress that's where we accumulate it so when you use on a regular basis your singing bowl on your tummy might it be your stomach might it be your lower abdomen it will relax that area it will literally release tension it might release pains and it can bring you beautiful balance and um relaxation harmony sometimes people they have um, some physical issues then maybe if you've had a, a serious operation and maybe that's not the best place to place it on yeah but it's a beautiful practice to place it on your tummy as well there is various other um, exercises where you can place it on the top of your feet for example supported by a cushion and tap it and one thing i always like to recommend is for those who have a bathing top um, the singing bowl floats so if you like to take a bath you can take your singing bowl with you into the water and no water in the bowl but you allow the bowl to float in the water water carries vibration much faster than the air and this means you receive a full body sound vibration self-care massage because the water will carry it to every cell of your being just as a, an, a side tip for that which i cannot show you now <laughs> yeah um anyone has a question in regards to that at that time let me know uh, one thing i'd like to mention is a balloon 
if you have a balloon it's fantastic to use a balloon as well you can for example place it between your two feet just between the ankles i show with my hands because i'm not going to bring my feet up here now but you can place it between your ankles and have the singing bowl standing before it in front of it and tap it towards the balloon and you will see you will have an amazing sound vibration for your ankles that brings a super release especially in summertime when we sometimes have rather charged ankles where the liquid um, stocks so this can give a beautiful release as a tip with the balloon hmm? yeah i would now maybe like to follow <clears throat> with the nice journey if that's in um, agreement with you and for that i'd like you to make yourself comfortable so i'd like to guide you on a brief journey a journey to relax if you like and um, yeah just allow yourself to follow I'll play some singing bowls with that and in that moment it is recommended to have some speakers or possibly a headset so you can hear the sounds maybe better and so I invite you to sit comfortably and easy if you prefer you can also lie down you may want to take some comfortable breaths Maybe deep breaths. Some breaths that already bring you a release of the day to day. invited to listen to the sounds and my voice you may follow the journey or you just follow on your own personal journey maybe you would like to stretch once stretching your arms above your head and when bringing your arms down as well with the breathing out relax your shoulders I would like to take you on a journey into nature this may be a scenery in nature that is very familiar to you but maybe together we will create this scenery out of your imagination and maybe you go somewhere completely different. Allow yourself to relax with the harmonizing and balancing sounds of the singing bowls. Allow your breath to flow. Close your eyes if you like
and for a short period of time just be. I'd like to invite you into a park, a beautiful park, maybe a park that you know very well, maybe from your childhood where you would always go with your grandparents maybe. With your parents, with your pet, or your best friends. And maybe the park that is now in front of you will be a park out of your imagination. Imagine you stand in front of this park, there is a portal made of real stone guiding into the park and to the left and the right of an alley are standing huge trees they seem to be very old they're strong and deeply rooted with Mother Earth. While you enter and start walking along this alley, you can smell the amazing scent of these trees. What trees are these? Maybe these are even your favorite trees. And if you like, you can even walk off the pathway through the warm grass and touch one of the trees. Its birch is rough and warm. To the left and the right of the alley of the pathway, you can see flowers, beautiful flowers. Allow it to be summertime. There are all these beautiful colors reflect in the soft shining sun. Flowers in all colors, maybe white, Maybe red or even blue and yellow with an awesome fragrance. You just take a notice of that. And you continue walking along until you see a little sign. And this little sign says, Magic Lake. Wow. And maybe you become a little bit excited and curious. And you may decide whether you wish to follow that path guiding towards the magic lake. You're strolling along and it doesn't take too long. Passing all these beautiful lush green trees. 
the beautiful flowers, inhaling the scents, the scents of the flowers and the trees. And here you stand in front of a marvelous turquoise colored lake. Wow. Have you ever seen such a beautiful lake? It's not a large lake, very small and very shallow. You can see that it's crystal clear water. And you approach the lake. There is sand around the shore. You can clear through the crystal clear water right the ground. Sand looks very inviting. Now you can decide whether you would just like to sit down beside the turquoise colored beautiful lake or maybe you take your shoes off you bathe your feet into this crystal clear water. Mm. An amazing, refreshing, not too cold temperature, just right. And you feel already much lighter, more refreshed. And if you like, and if you feel the urge, you know you can bathe completely in this crystal clear, turquoise colored water of the lake. You're safe, because it's very shallow. And if you do so, you can feel as you can wash off all that brings the day maybe all worries maybe any tension that's still there and you can feel as your cells even through your feet or even you sitting aside inhaling the fragrance of this beautiful turquoise colored light what a purifying effect it has and it nourishes, it brings you lightness. You can feel it brings you balance. You can feel it brings you harmony. It brings you joy and happiness. And so for a little moment, enjoy being completely pervaded by this nourishing energy, the light energy of this crystal clear turquoise colored water. You can hear the birds singing in the area. You can hear the humming sound of the bees and you enjoy this very special moment just for yourself. Nothing you have to do, just be. You can feel 
that this moment of self-care you have allowed yourself now emerges into your entire body every cell every cell of your physical body your mind your emotions bringing lightness harmony balance and flow complete you know at some time you have to leave this beautiful lake the turquoise colored lake but knowing as well that at any time you can go back you can return And so I invite you at this moment, anything you would like to keep from this little moment of relaxed sensation, balance and harmony of recharge on all levels, place it in a special place in your memory so that any time you can go back walk back from the lake through the alley in the park one more time taking notice of the beautiful lush green trees taking notice of the beautiful colorful summer flowers And when you reach the portal of the park, maybe you would like to turn around one more time, say goodbye and thank you to the park, the turquoise colored lake and yourself for allowing yourself to take this time to recharge and balance. It is time that you bring slowly your attention back to the very present moment and I invite you to start moving your body, moving your fingers, twinkle your toes, maybe make circles with your feet. Take a few extra breaths, breathing in and out deeply. And then bringing your full awareness back into the here and now, slowly opening your eyes. Welcome back. I hope you.
you have enjoyed the energy of the park, the energy of the turquoise colored water of the magic lake, the regenerating effect of all that was provided, flow of energy, yeah. Yeah, if uh, someone has some further comments or questions, feel free to write that in the chat. I thank Ellen from Berlin for her comment about the self-care tips. Thank you <laughs> using it. Yes, yes, yes. Very um, important. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we are coming towards the end of our sound evening today. I would like to share some information with you on um, some courses. Yanni, if you bring in the... Yeah, thank you so much. Um, I'd like to share with you the next seminars I will offer in English. We have at the beginning of September, 10th and 11th of September, creating imagery and sound journeys part one. And in October, the 8th and the 9th part two. And this is something I love a lot uh, about the storytelling and um, how you can incorporate it in your personal life, how you can um, incorporate it maybe in your therapy work, as group offers, etc. These are Peter Hess Institute certified courses and I offer them online via Zoom and when you have attended sound massage, Peter has sound massage training level one plus, these two seminars will grant you a further certificate, training certificate, which is the relaxation trainer for imagery journeys, according to Emily Hess and Peter Hess, which I think is excellent and it's new that we do that in English as well and for those who have maybe not done or not completed the the um, Peter Hess sound massage training we have here in Spain in southern Spain that's where I am um, from the 27th of August until the 2nd of September an intensive week of Peter Hess sound massage yeah, for more information, you can check my website, which is www.christine-heckel.com. I speak English, Spanish and German. And um, other than that, I would like to refer to the next sound evening that will take place in two weeks time. Yet it will be in... Uh, German and in Portuguese because we have the wonderful opportunity to listen to Regina Santos from Brazil and they have had some great um, research done on sound massage for Parkinson's disease and Ursula Dannemann is translating. Yeah, so at this time I would say thank you very much for joining me tonight. I hope you have enjoyed as I did. I hope at some time I will see you um, very soon. Maybe one more thing I'd like to mention. Um, we offer together with the, or I offer together with our Peter Hess Academy in Australia, the Sound Symposium. We've had two so far earlier this year, and we will have another one at the end of September. It will be in English, so all English speakers are welcome and I have seen already some of our 
um, participants here on this call have attended um, others. Thank you, Mona, for your for your message. <laughs> and um, I would also like to relate to um, Yanni. We have had another um, follow, isn't it? Um, the Klangquelle. Yeah, um, just to remind you, there is a, a free download of the brochure Sound Source of Inner Strength. Very recommendable. Gives you again practical tips, interesting facts about singing bowls and sound massage and a lot of other information on it. So feel free to connect with your association if you're not a member yet and um, you can download it yeah in the chat we have the link for the download and i think this is it what i wanted to share at this moment yeah one more time thank you so much i hope you enjoyed as uh, i did and i wish you a very beautiful evening i wish you a wonderful summer and hope to see you soon in any occasion. Thank you so much and take care. Stay safe and healthy and enjoy your sounds with your singing bowls. <laughs> Thank you very much and bye bye.